No. I heard that um, your harvest was very, very bountiful. Yes. <laughs> Thanks to the land you gave to me. Honestly, the land is too fertile. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's my honor. <laughs> um, you see, that's why I want my people to be prosperous and happy. That's the way, you know, life should go. Where everybody is talking about you. You are too good. Ah, we are enjoying your reign. Oh. Uh, there's another thing. Yes. I, I think uh, you have to call back the prince to come and witness this year's New Year festival. You know, so he can learn more of our custom and tradition. Mm. No. Is there anything about our custom and tradition that he came my son does not know? You know, I taught him so well. Mm. Yes, I did. Okay. In that case, let him come and stay a little time with me. As the grandson of the oldest man that ever lived in this community, and the traditional prime minister of this land, I think there's a lot he's going to learn from staying with me. No, I think you're right. You know, we can never know it all. Um... In that case, when he returns, I will tell him to come and see you. That is it, Igwe. It's very important. Yes. <laughs> we know we can never know all. Uh -huh. You know my son is intelligent. That's okay. Yes. So. <laughs> um, Ikem. Mm -hmm. Mabel told me that she's pregnant for you. Why would she tell you that? Oh, because she was looking for money to abort the baby. Abort the baby? Why would she do a thing like that? Now let me ask you, are you ready to get married to her? Even if you are, she's not from your town, of course, we know. Uh, but even, uh, even at that, that's not the reason she should think of aborting a child. Okay? That's not enough reason. Oh. Ikem, is it not better uh, you give her money to abort that pregnancy? No, 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 don't say that. I don't, I don't stand, Because I it's, don't it's somehow bringing a child into this world and you know vividly, very well that you cannot take care of that child. What do you mean I cannot take care of the child? Are you normal? Even if I have 50 children today, I can take care of them. I have what it takes to take care of my children. Really? Yes, even if I adopt a lot of children, I can take care of them. I go to motherless baby's home to take care of children. Talk more of my own child. What are you saying? Of course I can. So are you saying you want to marry her? Well, I just, I don't know for now, but I'm being hopeful. Since you came back from Canada, this is the only habit you came back with that is pissing me off. Well, Mom, I think the grades that I came back home with has covered everything. I came back with flying colors. And come to think of that, you know, you all won't understand how cold it is over there. No one is going to stay in Canada without finding one or two ways on subsidizing with the weather. I mean, it's so cold over there, and over time, this became a habit for me. I'm going to try and stop it, but that will be when the gods want me to. For now, bear with me, Mom. Please. You're not supposed to wait for the gods to stop you, because you're back in your father's land. And the weather here is friendly. Anyway, let's forget about that and discuss more important issues, the reason I'm here. Why is it that you are not interested with the affairs of this community? You're just uh, behaving like a commoner. Not again, mom, not again. I am not the heir apparent to the throne. Of what use would it be to me if I get to learn everything concerning this kingdom? I mean, what would I do with it? I don't, I don't think I need it. Can you just listen to yourself, Izuna? Why are you saying that? Are you trying to tell me that the elders that knows about the affairs of this community, that they are the hair apparent to the throne? Ah, mom, you said elders, elders, elders. 
I'm a young man and I'm not an elder. Mom, please, can we just, anything about this learning about kingdom, can we just keep it aside? I mean, I have more personal things that are choking me, things that I should concentrate on and not this kingdom related matters. <sighs> Your father will honestly be disappointed to hear you say this. Um, Mom, let's change the topic, please. I've got issues that are bothering me. Lately, I've been seeing he came in danger. What happened to my son? What is wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. It's in the dream. <sighs> what I don't understand is why I keep seeing he came in a series of dreams. And in those dreams, I don't like the situation of things. I don't know why the face keep repeating. You nearly killed me. But thank the gods, it was only a dream. Would you mind relating to me what you dreamt of? It's just a dream. I thought he is your friend. That's why I told him about it. But you're not supposed to tell him that. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to confide in me. We're in this together. And then he, he said something about you requesting money for abortion. Why would you even think of that? Because I'm not ready to have a child now. You and I know what happened between us was a mistake. And I'm not ready to have a child who is born out of a mistake. Listen. That is a royal blood. It was never a mistake. Okay? And I can never, ever be part of abortion. I can't. Soil my hands. I wish I had money. If I only I had money. I won't even tell you about it. I'll just go ahead. I don't even need you to go with me. I'll just take care of everything myself. You don't even need to go with me. What's this? I just need money. I need money to do this. Can you listen to me? I don't know why you're tensed. Like I said, we're in this together. It's just to put hands and know how we can sort this out. Now I'm ready to be the father. I'm ready to take responsibility for anything at all. Bravo. Bravo. Yeah. Well said, exactly. You're ready to take responsibility. I'm ready to be the father. The father. So what happens to me? So this is the plan you actually have for me? That I should be a single mother. Me, a single mother? Have you seen what happens to, to single mothers in our society today? I promise you, I won't let that be my lot. Since you're not ready to give me money to abort the child, I'll look for another way and I'll get rid of it myself. Look, look, listen, please. I am the crown prince of a Uto kingdom. What will people say? That's an abomination. That's what I'm trying to say. And you didn't really allow me to finish. No, no one is talking about you being a, a single mother. I am here to support you. As the father, please, don't think of abortion, please. Do not think of abortion. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I told you about it in the first place. But guess what, Prince? Ike. 
If I walk out that door, I promise you will never set your eyes on me again. Sorry. It's okay. It's, it's, you it's can fine. use my water to wash off the mud on your body. No, it's okay. Um, my place is not far from here. I'll just go home and change. It's, it's okay. I don't know how far your home is, but going on like this is not good at all. You can use my water. I'll go and fetch another one. All right. If Let you me say get so. it. All right. Thank you. Are you mad? What are you trying to do? Eh? Ungozi, I am not mad. I want to give him my water to wash his body. Hey, Gineka, why is it that you always want to act like a good girl? Can you imagine? How can you give your water to a total stranger and then go to the stream to fetch again? Huh? Gineka, calm down. I am not acting like a good girl. I am a good girl. Besides, it is right you help people whether you know them or not. Gineka, the good Samaritan, will be on our way. Why is there and keep rendering help to you don't know? Is this good, job? I mean, it's good. Okay, can you help me just hold this? Okay, hold this. Just like this. So sorry. It's okay. Um, thank you so much. Your trouser. Oh, okay, please. I think it's that bad. Maybe I should just go home. No worry. Huh? I actually can't. I can't wear this for too long. Let me just go home. I really appreciate this. All right? It's not a problem. Thank you very You're welcome. much. Thank you. Your ring. All right. Got a girl in, in school pregnant. You got a girl in school pregnant, and your face is like this. <laughs> Aren't you happy that the royal household is going to expect this soul? How dare you? I mean, why should you do? <laughs> wow! <laughs> so it means I'm going to be a grandmother very soon. Yes, yeah. Come and bring her to me. How is good? Again, you know, you are the crown prince of this kingdom and you should be bold at what decisions you make um, although it's, uh, it's wrong for you to impregnate a girl out of wedlock but that's okay but you you need to learn to be bold at whatever decision you are decided to make that's what I've been teaching you all these years <laughs> okay, <brother. laughs> 
Why is your face this way? Don't you love her? Oh, I, I do. I do. Just... Because I, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I got it. You think it's going to distract you from taking your exams? Never to worry. Just bring her to us and be assured that we'll take very good care of her. Yes, son. Bring her. Maybe you don't know what you have just done. You have changed my status. I'm going to be a grandfather. And I'm going to be a grandmother. The latest grandmother in this community. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I will, I will I'll bring her by a weekend. Yes, I'm just, but it's fine. I'll, I'll bring her by a weekend. Okay, I need I really need to run along. I have something doing in school. Hi, good day, Dad. Hi, Mom. Why did you call me here? My father wants to see you. What? Yeah, I told him about the pregnancy. Why on earth would you do that? I told, I told you to forget about it. Why are you so hell-bent in putting him into trouble? Why did you get the king involved? Because it's not just me. This is a royal blood. The entire kingdom is aware of it already. It's not just me. Oh, I see what you're doing. You just want to get me into trouble. Look, I'm not getting you into trouble, my dear. No, 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 no. I have already booked a date with a doctor, and that's fine now. No, you can't do that. I know we just met, okay, and you see what happened as a mistake. But you can't obviously get rid of the pregnancy. He's a royal blood. Please. Give me the opportunity to be a father. Don't tell me that. You are not ready to be a father. I am ready to be a father. If I'm not ready to be a father, I won't be clamoring for you to keep the child. Of course, I'm ready. I want to be a father. I am begging, please. You can't get rid of him. Is there anything you are hiding from me? Mabel! Oh? Is there anything you are hiding from me? No, I'm fine. <sighs> Mabel, are you pregnant? Really? So, out of all the 99 problems or challenges anyone could face, you think pregnancy is my problem. Mom, why is that whenever you look at me, you see pregnancy? What's this? I don't know. I don't understand you either. Maybe I do not understand you these days. You never used to keep secrets from me. But all you do these days is sit down one place, stare into the space as if you're seeing some spiritual beings. Mom, what exactly is the problem? Because it's obvious, or at least I've been told, that you can never really satisfy humans. And you're beginning to prove that 
point to be correct. Come on, mom. If I go out of this house, you complain that I always go out. Now I'm seated here all by myself, just minding my business, and you still have a problem with it. Can you please just leave me alone, please? <laughs> Ah, maybe I will leave you alone. Thank you. I will let you be. Mm. But when this problem becomes bigger than you can handle, I will remind you that you asked me to let you be. <laughs> mm. Oh, no. mm -hmm. I hope your wife is not at all. Ah, Ichi Oguchi. Today is all your market. Okay. What will <laughs> make Ned to be a tomb around by this time? <laughs> but is there any problem? Yes. The conversation I came with is highly confidential. And I want it to be between you and I alone. What is it about? Uh, some people came from the Kube community demanding to buy some portion of land from the land that the king gave me for farming. You know, their offer is mouth-watering. But you see, the fact is this. I'm afraid that the King might know about it. Mm. <laughs> Who is that again? <laughs> I'm suspecting you. You <laughs> sound as if you know about it already. Huh? Uh, well, it's your Kuchi. Huh? It's still I'm into since last year. And I'm cashing out big time on it. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Is that? But you know, we are good friends. Eh? Why don't you tell me? Eh? Is it not supposed to be a secret? Yes, but uh, if. No, but. Any information that goes beyond one person hmm. is no longer a secret. I hope you are going to keep this a secret between two of us. Ah. Oh, no. I promise. Hmm? I really, really promise. You don't know me to be a talkative, do you? Well, let's do this. Eh, no, do I? Oh, no! Oh, no! Give us a drink now, give us a drink. It's all right. Um, uh, who is there? He can just think about it this way. Why don't you just go ahead and send that girl away? I set you under some kind of influence. So what happens to my child in the womb? Oh, get off it. You and I know that that thing in her womb is not a child yet. Of course you're educated. You should know better than I do. Are you in any way supporting that I abort my child? What are you even saying? What? It's obvious that that might be the only way out of the situation. Because if she goes ahead to have that child, you know, you can be king until her father dies. Then you will marry her. And not just marrying her, she would be a second wife to you. In reality, the king, our father, does not look like one who is dying anytime soon. Talks maybe 50 years or even more. So tell me, is that girl going to wait till that time? That's a thing. Well, I... Not in any way a support of abortion. I can't spill an innocent blood 
especially when it has to do with my child. He's not a child yet. Why don't you give that girl, offer her money? Enough of this, please. I think I failed as a son. I'm sorry for disappointing you. I'm deeply sorry for what happened. I remember explaining this to you over and over again over the years. That your first child must come from a woman that is a native of this village. A woman that is not from this community cannot be the mother of a king of this land. Your action goes to show that my admonition over the years fell on deaf ears. I'm sorry. It was just a one night stand. Let's just stop crying over spirit milk. I think the best thing you should do now is to give her some money and send her away. Just settle her. The problem is that I don't want to stain my hands with innocent blood. You don't have to go tell her to abort the child. All you do is give her some money as a form of settlement and tell her not to come close to you. If she goes ahead to abort the baby, afterwards then no one is going to blame you. If I give her money now, she will abort it. It's not about the money. It's not about her. It's about my child. Because there is no child yet, and you are not going to have that child. Give her some money. Send her away. Is that too much to do? Is it a difficult thing to do? Do you love her? Then you must be a fool. Don't make me regret calling you my son. How dare you? How could you let yourself fall in love with someone you know you can never marry? Everyone in this community can choose any life they want and live to it. But not you. You cannot just choose any life. You cannot live any life. Because you are the heir apparent to the throne. Well, let me put you through this. Because it's going to be a strong determining factor when you finally make your decision. If you go ahead and marry that girl, that translates to the obvious fact that you have said that your younger brother should be the king after me. And that means, in your lifetime, you will never be a king. I really want you to know what is at stake here. And I really do not care to know what's at stake. Come on. Tell your brother to leave me the hell alone. Okay? What, 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 what's this? Why are you making it look like I'm the one hanging on to him? The fact you don't know is that my brother cannot marry you. <sighs> my brother cannot marry a non indigenous as his first wife. If he tries it, or insist on doing so. That means he has made up his mind to relinquish the throne. And didn't he know all of this before he started flirting with me? 
made love to me without protection, released inside of me. Didn't you know all the while? Well, I, I try to understand why all of this. Well, let's say maybe he was carried away by your beauty. Of course, you know you're beautiful. Please spare me all of that. Tell your brother to give me some money to abort the pregnancy. I will have to talk to my brother to give you the money. But if he gives you the money, promise me that you will not come for him again. <laughs> You people won't even let me be with him after all. So why hang on to someone who will never be my husband? Anyway, I'm on an errand. I have to go. How do I find you? Same way you found me now. Sweet. That was sweeter than everything I could imagine. But is it possible to give up my throne for the love I have for her? This is really hard. You sent for me? Yes. Um, sorry, my name is... Prince Ikem. You want to be my friend? The answer is no, I'm not interested. But you wouldn't take no for an answer, would you? <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> well, I just wanted us to be friends and, you know... I can see this is going to take a really long time because we'll keep going back and forth. And I'm really, I'm not in the mood for all of that right now. My answer is no, not interested. Please, can you at least give me a listening ear? At least you... Can you just stop begging me? You're making me look arrogant. And as it stands, since we really do not have anything to discuss, I have to go now. Have a beautiful day. Yeah, who is that? Hey. Hi, please, please sit. Thank you. Wow. How did you find me here? Well, a golden fish has no place to hide. Oh, I get. The prince obviously can't hide. Tell me, why did you stop talking to me? Because at some point you made me feel like I was bothering your life. And you decided to stop. But you should have tried harder. <laughs> not on your mind. That's not manly of you. Well, I wouldn't know if I am. Um... Come in. 
Hey, uh, you came. Bro, man. What's up? Yeah, cool. How's it going? I'm okay. I'm okay. Make yourself comfortable. Your mood. What's this? Huh? But uh, she won't understand. I know it's because of my girl. No. Okay, why can't you? Like, I know very well you're not into this girl. But I wonder why you can't discard her. What are you still waiting for? But you know it's not easy. How is it not easy? I love her. Yes, you told me that. But you later stopped the relationship sooner than it took you to get it. It came, let me just be honest to you now. Um, I've not known you for, for long. But I think you make mistakes in your dealing. Yeah, you jump into things midway. And suddenly you realize that I shouldn't have started it in the first place. I've, I've noticed that about you, and it's very bad. Before you do things, first of all, you check, calculate, ask questions. Yeah. But who wouldn't? I saw her, loved her. Love her, actually. And she's kind to me. So she won my heart. But... At some point, I thought about this, that, you know, you cannot marry this woman because she's not from the same village. But at that point, I've gone far. I've gone, I've gone, I've gone far that I don't know how to draw myself back. Love is something that when it dwells in you, it goes in every part of your body, including your soul. That's the point I am right now with her. And you know how hurtful that can be, right? It's been three days, three whole days, and you haven't called. Hmm. You see the reason why I was avoiding you at first? Because I knew after you got what you wanted, you would just discard me easily. Hey, no, hey, no. I can't explain. What exactly do you want to explain, tell me? That your village people miraculously came and deleted my number off your phone? Or that the beauty that got you attracted to me in the first place has suddenly disappeared? What can you possibly tell me made you to stop loving me? I didn't stop loving you. Oh. It's just that. It's just that you, you have gotten what you wanted, so there is no need for the chase anymore. No. It's far from that. You know, what happened was just... What happened, Prince Ike, is of no use to me. It doesn't really matter to me anymore. You know, you know the funny thing? I thought you were different. I, I saw you... I thought you were decent. But just like the rest of them... Just three days, and you've changed your mind. After it took you three good months to get that girl. Became, uh, what kind of woman did are you? Well, this... Uh, I've realized that now I, I've decided to amend things. Yeah, I, I blame myself for this whole thing. That's, that's the reason I... I want to make amends now. I know that girl is afraid of you. Yeah, she is. Uh, because you can still wake up one morning and decide not to take care of the baby. No, that can never be me. He said I would take the child and train, train the child myself. I can't do that. 
again, I think keeping that pregnancy will affect you negatively. Yes. For your future and for the girl's future too. I suggest you give her money to do away with the pregnancy. Oh, hell no. Don't even say that. What are you saying? God, I'm royalty. I'm, I can't stay in my hands with blood. I can't do that. That is never an option. I can't. I can't. Begin. Begin. Um, please. Can you lend me some money? I will pay you back. Can I offer you? You should be talking about how to pay me back money, bro. You're talking about borrowing you another one. Hmm? I'll pay you now. I'll just lend you another one. I'll bring the two of them at the same time, okay? Promise you that. Okay? Hmm. I'm gonna wait first. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, what are you talking about? Are you talking about? Is he out of his mind? I don't know what has come over my son. He even said before on my face that he loves her. What? That is sacrilege. Igwe we cannot allow this to happen. But are you sure that girl is not using charm on him? No, I don't think so. Have you forgotten that no charm can be potent on any member of the royal family? I, I think this is just being stupid. Igwe, in that case, don't bother yourself. Don't lose a day not sleeping well. I will fix it. He will. <laughs> That's why I actually had to let you know of this. Um, I trust that you will come up with an idea for us to tackle this issue. He will is a little problem. Don't just worry. I trust you. It is done. No worries. Okay. Oh, stop that. I've told you not to do this whenever we want to talk. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Okay, here's the information. I happened to meet with a girl. We spoke at length. But there's something about the girl that I found out that we can actually settle that girl financially. If a huge amount of money is offered to that girl, she will let my brother be. In that case, let us offer her a huge amount of money, an amount she cannot resist. If that girl is well funded, if a huge amount of money is given to that girl, a huge amount of money that will be able to help her take care of the unborn child. If possible, send her abroad. Do one or two things to make life more stable for her. I have this feeling that she would let it can be. No, no, no. Sending her abroad is out of it. I don't think we should make her that strong. Because if we do, she might come back against us with the same power that we have given her. Remember, wealth is power. And power is power. I agree with you, but I would also want you to look at it this way. If that girl has been offered a huge amount of money, she would leave Ikem alone. Of course, we all know that if Kim can barely go without that girl, we all know that he can barely function without that girl. But with the girl that I spoke with, can actually do without Kim if she's financially stable. Think about it.
Nein. Madam Gengadju, I would have asked what is bothering you. But you are the most secretive woman being I have ever come across. But I'm sure you will not answer me. I am the Onu, the traditional prime minister of this land. At that, because the king trusts me. So how do you expect me to tell you everything that bothers me? What business do you have with Oguchi? He comes here often with files. Am I not supposed to know that also? When will you stop asking all these stupid questions? You are supposed to be my wife. I'm nothing but my wife. And I am being your wife the best way I can. This marriage has lasted long enough for me to know the right questions to ask. But you still treat me as if we just met. Man, let me ask you. I hear a man on Azokwa. On Azokwa refuse. I hear a man on Azokwa. I say no, Azokwa refuse. Man, I hear you. In our own is you, a whole new fire, a whole new book. Well, you will never change in there. You will never change. If you go near, if you go near, man, I took out with any show. Can we transfer the sum of five million naira into your accounts? Thank you, ma. Your Highness. I have spoken to my agent. He'll make sure that your papers are ready. You'll be going to London and you'll stay there to have your baby. Wow! Thank you so much, ma. Thank sorry. you, Your Highness. Enough of your stupid sorry and thank you. I'm not interested in that. I am only doing this because of my son. I don't want to see you anyway, an inch close to my son. I don't want you to even talk to him. Am I understood? That's okay. Don't Your worry. account number. Zero one, zero one, six three, double three. Oh, yes, thank you, Ma. <laughs> thank you so much, thank you. <laughs>
stop there. Mabel, Mama. what is going on under my roof? What exactly is happening? It doesn't look like anything is going on here, Mama. Mabel. Yes, Mama. Nothing is happening. Are you stupid? Now, stop talking to me. Apart from being pregnant, what else is going on? Who told you I'm pregnant? Oh. You think I'm an imbecile? Hmm? Just start talking before I slap your mouth to the back of your head. Fine. Yes, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. Who is asking if you're pregnant or not? You think I don't know? If you're pregnant, you deliver it. Then I carry my grandchild. If you abort it, fine. If you die while aborting it, better for me. Yes, life goes on. Maybe I have tried everything within my power to train you well. So whatever it is you do with your life, it's not my business. Now, my problem is, there are some scary looking guys that have been moving around this compound. Maybe who are they and what are they looking for? Mama, I'm surprised as you are because I've been seeing, I started seeing those people recently. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going on, Mama. Yeah, 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 everything is intact now. We have all her information with us now. now. Sure, everything is in fucking intact now. Okay, sir, okay, sir, no problem. Deal, deal. All right. To accompany me to Mabel's house. I want to see, I want to see her mother. Yeah. Because sometimes I wonder how you do. So you still don't want that girl to go, right? You're still talking about that girl. What is there? I just want to go see her mother. I don't want to go there alone. Just for you to go with me. Is anything wrong with it? I see. I'm sorry I cannot go there with you. I don't understand why you find it hard to do things for me. But if it's me, I go out of my way to do things for you. What is there? That's because your way of thinking is different from mine. Yes, your way of reasoning is different from mine. Or God, sometimes you think like dear Baby. How? How? Why can't you let that girl go? What is there? I thought you'd be happy for me. I'm, I'm trying to do the right thing. Really? <laughs> Bro, you must be joking. So you think if you go there and after vomiting all this nonsense from your mouth, you expect the mother to put you up, yeah? Okay, are you, are you okay? Like, sometimes I think if you're okay. I should be asking you if you're okay because I don't understand why you're crossing leg. You don't like you're, you're talking to your age mate. What's there? As my friend, I'm just begging my friend, accompany me to... It's just for when I get there, I tell the mom, I got your daughter pregnant, what's the way forward? I'm ready to do what needs to be done. What's there? You're just saying that like I, I said one, one, one abomination. What is there? What is wrong with what I just said? And what is wrong with you going with me? And you think, after saying that, the mother will clap for you, isn't it? It's the way forward I'm looking at. You should support me as a friend. Oh, and I said I cannot go there. It's okay, you said it now. Yeah, I'm talking nonsense. I'm doing this one. Well. 
Good day. How dare you throw greetings at me like you throwing bones to a dog? Are you mad? Who offended you? Why you behave this way? I want to know what Mabel has done to deserve that restlessness from you guys. If there's anyone you should bother, that should be me and not her. What is going on? How dare you come to my palace to query me? Come, if not that you are my son, I will make sure you lose an arm for this non-challenge. Please, calm down. Calm down. He came. You are the most stupid, senseless, worthless person I've ever seen. How dare you? Huh? It's quite unfortunate that you are my son. And most unfortunate that you are the heir to the throne. Is that how you are going to leave my people when I leave them to you? Don't make me regret that you, you, you're my first son. I can't control your feeling or perceptions about me. But I want you to leave Mabel alone. Cut her some slack. Let her be. Now leave my presence. Leave her alone. I said leave my presence. Let her be. Let's Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Can't you say I'm dwindling? This is not my old self. This boy wants to ruin me. That's the problem with him. And I think with time, he will know his faults and right his wrong. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Hmm? Anna, what is the problem? Is everything okay? This one you just dozed off in the middle of the day. I just got to revelation. About what? Is everything okay? Everything is okay, but there might be a problem if I don't speak with Unobu right now. Please get to me for me. In that case, let me send one of the guys to fetch your Unobu for you. Right. Tell DK to fetch the Unobu right away. Yes, Your Highness. Let him come with the Unobu immediately. Yes, Your Highness.
Hey, Chant bless all your Let's go, man. Bros, bro, oh. please. Hey, hello. Please, 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 please. I said, please, don't talk. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. Pass. We're there. Walk fast, walk fast! Push up, push up. I just got a deep revelation, no. What are you working on right now? I'm not working on anything right now. It's just that uh, the uh, planting season is... Uh, I'm not talking about a planting thing. I'm talking about what pertains to blood. Oh, 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 Igwe, okay. oh, <laughs> you know, after what you told me last time, I, I thought it, I thought it wise to eliminate that girl, because I believe if the girl is no more, the girl will no more have problem. I bought that mission right away. I bought, Igwe, the gods revealed to me that it is going to be a big stain, Igwe. They are already on it. I can't do anything. I can't abort it now. Call them and tell them to stop. Tell them Igwe says so. Igwe. <laughs> my food. Call them right away. Where has brought my food? Call them. Please, please don't kill me. Please. You say what? Please, please, I beg you. We don't want to hear your voice. If you chant more, we're going to answer you. Hello, boss. Yes, we found the killer. Uh, is she down already? Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. I bought the mission. What? I bought the mission. Yes, yes, no problem. Oh, your money. Don't worry, I will pay you in full. Just I bought the mission. Yes, untie her, let her go, let her go. No problem, sir, no problem. It's okay. All right, sir. Okay, okay. See me in the house. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sir. Please, please. I hope we have not killed her. They were just about to kill her. My call just came on time. Always let me know when things like this comes up. You know I'm doing it for the throne. I know you're doing it for the love you have for me and for the throne. But when it comes to bloodletting, make sure I'm aware. I've had you, my king. It will never happen again. I've had you. Please, please, please. Stay. please. No, what I'm chanting please. about? My, uh, the matter don't cast, nigga. I'll be so I will cast like that now. Hello. You didn't hear me? Please. Okay. We're going to free you now. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So we're giving you 30 seconds to move up from here. Thank you, sir. See, let me tell you. Once you get up from here, let me not see you on the way. If, if I see you, eh? You see if I set there. my eyes on you outside there, you anything where you see, take her. Hey, bro. Do I mind you, if you're balling, don't look back. If you look back, we pay a girl, you know? Peace. Your time starts now. Blood clock. Hey! Stay, Stay with me. Give me the bag, give me the bag. <laughs> Banish right about now. Blood clot. I'll, I'll go kidnap you. I'll tell you finish. You know, I'm not going there. Let's see what in there now. Yeah. Check out my one dead. Yeah. What in there again? 50 50. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, no. What are you saying? Yeah.
Uh, what, is uh, what is it? Uh, what happened? Uh, Talk to me. What happened? God. What, what happened? God. From God what? saved me. Saved you from where? Uh, from who? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Babe, talk to me now. God, easy, easy, easy. What happened? I want eh? water. Water? Hey. Madam! What has she done to you? What are you talking about? What she mean? What am I talking about? She just not only escaped from the den of kidnappers. How senseless can you be? How? What are you? Can you calm down? Why would I want her dead? You can listen to me. If you had given her money to abort that pregnancy, all this wouldn't have been happening. You can listen to me. If anything should happen to that guy, you can. If anything should happen to that guy, you can. Listen to me, shut up! If anything should happen to that girl, I will testify against you in the court of law. You can. And I mean it. And you was going for that. Useless set of. Useless idiots. <laughs> Yes, I'm coming. Don't break the gate. Huh? Who is knocking for my girl like saying you missed the road? Huh? Don't you know that you are the royal one? Please, I want to see. Hey, 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 Madam, wait, 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 wait. Uh -uh. Uh-huh. Madam, by the way, who are you looking for? Please, I want to see the Igwe. And I want to see him now. Madam, you will not see him. Do you have appointment with him? No, but I have to see the Igwe now. It is very important. I have to see him now. Madam, you can't see him except you have any important appointment with him. Eh? Hey. Yes. In that case, you people will kill me before I leave this place or because I must see the Igwe. Igwe, come out! Hey, hey, hey. wait, Igwe. Madam. Igwe. Madam, wait. Here is not a slaughter place where you can come and kill yourself. Wait, let me go and call Igwe. Madam, no one get them from your mouth again. Better call Igwe, oh. Better call him. I tell you to shut up. Igwe, better come out now. It's actually um, not the way um, the people see it. But with time, they'll come to understand that it's actually for their favor. You are doing the right thing. Igwe! There is a woman outside the gate with her daughter. She said that if you did not allow her to see you, she would die. not allow such woman in here. Go hold her down. I'll be right behind you. Yes, Your Highness. Who could be that? Yes, let's go attend to her. Is this your mother? Yes, Your Highness. Yes, I'm her mother. Igwe, your son got her pregnant. And I was told you are aware of that. But that is not exactly why I'm here. If your son doesn't want to marry her, it's fine. It's okay by me. I have what it takes to take care of my daughter 
and any number of children she decides to have outside wedlock. But why come after her life? Then whoever is after her life should let her be. My daughter has been at peace until your son got her pregnant. I was told she asked for money for abortion, but he refused. Woman, are you certain my son is the one after your daughter's life? Ma, I know children can be trusted, but in this particular issue, I know that whoever is after my daughter's life is doing that because of the child in her womb. Please, tell whoever it is that wants my daughter to let her be. Please, I am begging. She's all I have. Woman, I assure you, no harm will come to her. Igwe. I have reported this matter to the police. If anything happens to my daughter, I will take legal action against your son. I just thought you should know. Please, tell your son to leave my daughter alone. I beg you. Woman, choose your words well. You are not sure of who is after your daughter, not my son. My dad. Madam, you cannot leave. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Oh, why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? My mind is polluted. The order of its content might be unbearable. My son, speak up now. For not speaking puts more threat to this community. It, can, it is better we perceive this thinking or done now and find a way around it before it gets out of hand. I'm expecting a child. How dare you say that before us? I thought that has been settled. The only thing settled is that my child is still in the mother's womb. And my child will not be fatherless while I'm still alive. Okay. I called you that name because I thought you were going to be my strength and my power when I grow feeble. Are you saying that I should bear my chest? Are you going to have first my heart in the very presence of, of, of the elders of this community? For I'm not your only child. My dream is to sit on the throne of my fathers one day. I think I want to be a father more than I want to be a king. If that is your stance, then you cease to be my son. That's fine. If that's the price I will pay for being a father, then let it be. You can. You can. Ken, will you come back here? Ikem! I am not done with you! Ikem! Ikem! land of a photo hear me and let the bears of the sky stop to fly and let the gods of my ancestors hear the anguish in my voice since you have allowed me to train you in vain 
so shall you toil in vain. I hereby strip you of everything and the benefits of the crown prince of this good land. You shall no longer have access to your bank account. You shall no longer have access to the properties that belong to the royal home. And everything under your possession, you have lost. Guards! Guard! Step forward. He is no longer the crown prince of this great land. Take that off him. And that khaki with him belongs to the royal home. Take it from him. Now, send him out of my palace. Igwe, please. Stop it! Tamper justice with mercy. Send him away. Son. Guards! You can help him. Help him! You were also the He came. It's alright. It's alright. Your Highness! As you have made me cry, you shall toil and toil in vain. Igwe! Hello. Hello. Hey, where are you going? Ah. Is it now you are coming for the meeting? Hey, we're here for the meeting. Uh, is the right time? I don't have time. We just came. <laughs> What's the time? It is alright. The meeting is over. Eh? Hello. Ah. Why so fast? Why? What is the problem? The no, prince. What's now? The prince chose a strange woman over the throne. Uh -huh. Hello. Ah, 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 ah. Why no? Did I hear you clear? There's a problem there. A very big problem. <laughs> hey! So that is his decision. At last. Uno talked to us. And the king disowned the prince. Hey. Uh, Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, Hello. Ah. <laughs> what do we do now? Hey. Huh? Hello. There's nothing we can do. Can we go in and see the king? It's your choice. Huh? My choice. But I'm going. You are going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I'll go with you now. Let's go with you, no woman. Okay. No, no. Ah, give me a minute. Yes, you are. Oh. I'm from Otiago. <laughs> What a small world. <laughs> that man was an upright man. Wow. He was so upright that he was killed because of his truthfulness. What? Yes. That's what my grandma told me. Shit. He was murdered for saying the truth. That's true. That inspires me to be more truthful now because I realize that Truthfulness is the weapon people dread so much now. You're right. Hmm. I'm quite impressed. Hmm? I'm impressed to have you here. Thank you, my queen. Isn't that? Your ability to find such a wife kill shows how much you deserve to be the future king of the kingdom. Um, you can go back home and announce to your people that you have found favor in the sight of the crown prince of this kingdom. Igwe. Thank you, Your Highness. You have spoken my mind. You have spoken my mind. <laughs> you have.